As you will hear, Israel's timetable of when Iran will develop a nuclear bomb has changed. The former head of the Mossad, Shapti Shavit, said that Israel has just 12 months in which to destroy Iran's nuclear program or risk coming under nuclear attack itself. He warned that time was running out to prevent Iran's leaders getting the bomb. At the same time, in the United States, a senior defense official reported to ABC News that there is an increasing likelihood that Israel will target Iran's nuclear installations by the end of 2008. The reason? The Pentagon official identified two red lines that could trigger such an Israeli attack. The first being, when Iran's nuclear facility at Natanz produces enough highly enriched uranium to make a nuclear weapon, something that according to U.S. and Israeli assessments could happen in 2009 and perhaps even by the end of 2008. This red line would be crossed not when Iran gets to that point, but before they get to that point, the official said. So we are now in the window of vulnerability. He said that the second red line would be crossed when Iran acquires the SA-20 air defense missile systems from Russia. Israel would want to make their attack before they were in place, making their attack more difficult. 